wild time. I gotta, I'm going to derail us a little bit from Darwin because I, I, no, I, I, this, this was something I was mulling over for us. Okay. Yeah, let's cool. hear it. I was thinking about it in my sleeplessness as I tossed and turned, thinking about work. And then I started thinking about, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. I started thinking about Bigfoot. Okay. And Never heard Yeti. of it. Okay. Well. I'm just kidding. Obviously, there's a huge interest in Bigfoot. There's a lot of people who believe in Bigfoot. There's been many a, a successful TV show where people just search for this thing. And you know <laughs> that you're probably going to watch it for 12 hours. Maybe you're going to find a pile of poop or a ball of hair. Right. You're probably not going to see it. But just the hope that maybe, yep. maybe something, somebody will catch something. Herpes? Where do you think this fascination or this myth or lore, let's not call it a myth. Let's leave open 1%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where does this lore come from, do you think? Like what, how would you guess that it just sort of started and originated? The Yeti, Thank, the Bigfoot. Thanks, Peter, for bring, pulling up this. <laughs> well, this is the um, most realistic Bigfoot picture yeah, I've ever seen, so I just important. had to bring it up. This is very important to the story. That's an um, outtake from Harry and the Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it is. I, 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 so I will answer what I know or think about. <clears throat> um, is this based in, do you have the answer to this? No, no, it's more of just oh, okay. a curiosity. Uh, so I think yeah. I, I think it comes from this. America is the only, North America is the only, and, and it's different with Yeti or the Siberian thing, but North America is the only New World continent without apes, okay? I, I might be, I might, that might be wrong. Without primates. Sorry, there is no great apes in South America, or no, South America's old world. I don't know. You have to figure that out, but... Uh, North America is the only content, continent of its size, new world, that doesn't have primates. And okay. my understanding, and you can fact check this, and I'm sure the Brosners will, and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm mixing something up, but that's fine. Sure. My understanding is that the idea behind Bigfoot, the scientific idea, is that it doesn't make sense for us to be the only place that doesn't have a primate. In fact, mm. not only do we have a primate, but we have a great ape. And as these animals go further up the food chain, just like any other animal, you get to the top, they become increasingly intelligent and increasingly rare, right? So rats, there's a billion of them. Tigers, there's a couple of them, right? As you move up the food chain, animals become more intelligent and more scarce because it takes more biological energy to fuel the brain and, and to be a predator than it does to be a fleet grazer, so on and so forth. And so I think if I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sort of shooting in the dark, but just from talking to a couple people that are into this, I think the idea is like, wait a minute, we do have a great ape in North America. It's the Bigfoot, the swamp ape, the, the, the whatever, the Yeti, you know, all these different names for, for Bigfoot. And it's just, it's so, it's very low abundance and it's very intelligent. And it's so right. low abundance because it's so high up on the food chain and we never have found proof of it. Because of its intelligence, right? If one dies, its mate comes and pulls it away and buries it. And, you know, they know how to stay reclusive and stay hidden and so on and so forth. And because there's such low abundance of it, they can get away with that. Mm -hmm. And now to add some validity to that argument, think about this. Think about if you and four of your buddies, just you and four friends, moved into the Pacific Northwest in the middle of the woods and never wanted to be seen or found and had yeah. that intelligent ability. You could get away with it. You know, sure. you'd always hear people coming. You would know where to hide. Uh, this is assuming you were well adapted and suited to that environment, right? Sure. You, 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 you could always, you'd hear people coming a million miles away because you're used to the sights and smells and sounds of your p patch of woods. You'd know where to hide. You know how to cover up your tracks. If you made a fire, and I don't think people think Bigfoot's made fires, but if you made a fire, you know how to cover it up. Like you have the intelligence in a tiny population when it's you and four of your friends to never be seen. And I think that's yeah. the idea is like it, it, the certain level of intelligence and the certain low population allows for them to have never been discovered. And the fact that biologically speaking, we don't have any primates in North America is, is not a coincidence and not accurate that we do have one. It's just, it's bigger than the gorilla. It's smarter than the gorilla. It's higher up on the food chain. And so it, it eludes us. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. I just I did fact check it. Yeah, there are no there are no native primates to North America. That that's really right. interesting. Right, but they're everywhere else in the New World and on every other continent. Right, they're in South America. They're obviously in Africa. They're in Asia. Uh, they're they're everywhere else, but here, mm -hmm. which is like, right. and that's the argument. It's like, well, they are here. They're just these Bigfoot things. That's the primate. 
It is. It is strange. So there's. They have these apes in. And forgive me for being a layman. In in South America and like Central America, they have like uh, primates not, not, living. Not monkeys, apes, but monkeys. Uh, plenty of primates. Howler monkeys, capuchins. The list goes on and on and on. Tons, tons of monkeys. Yeah. I mean, have you ever have you ever seen, you know, an Amazon show or cartoon or anything where right, there are monkeys right. swinging through the trees? Like tons of monkeys in South America. Yeah, and, and all the way into Mexico. By the way, I mean, there's plenty of monkeys in Mexico, which is our neighboring country. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if you think about Mexico. Right. And you think about going up through like Texas and then, you know, into Florida, because there's there's prime there are primates in some of the Caribbean islands as well. Why are they not here? Like, yeah, why? That's they weird. Connect? There's right. no there's no geographical barrier. There's nothing to keep primates out of North America. And again, the argument is they are here. They're just mm-hmm. not what we think of. Wild time. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.